Hello and welcome back to Lacked Plays. Today we're going to be checking out freaking strange horticulture. So I just saw this game is releasing very soon so I thought I'd quickly do a quick review and let you know what I think to see if you should buy it or not. The streets of Vandermeer are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbours can reach across and shake hands, or more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and the light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Ooh, Friday. The game will feature some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's the zoom. And then we've got our plants up here. I found it! An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside, and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone. P.S. Give Hellbone a good scratch behind the ear for me. Hellbone. There you go. Have a scratch. Oh, yes. That is 100%. <laughs> Alright, that's the video, guys. Buy the game. We have, we have a, a cat. So, we've got our plants here. What can I do with the plants? So I can inspect the plant. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. Okay. And then what's this one? It smells of nothing that I can detect. Okay, so we know nothing about these plants. Not a spongy. So... I'm assuming the way this game works is we have our shelf of plants, and what we've got to do is figure out how to look after them and what they do. So I think that, can I remove this? Okay, I can't, okay, so I can right click stuff to actually, uh, the will to explore, no, the time or inclination, you can water your plants to, it'll earn the will to explore. But so how do I know that I've watered the plants? Okay, let's hit the bell. First customer. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. What is this? Oh, Dren Labels. I'm so confused at this game. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices too faint to hear coming out of the floor above me. But nobody lives up there. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. What are they saying? Okay, so I'm supposed to give her a plant that... Can I look at this? Alright, it's like the video can be used as a reference to identify plants. So I'm supposed to find a plant that can help her to hear. Um, St. John's Poppy. Vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a trope. Ah, yes! Here we go. So we need St. John. Can I inspect it? Oh, this is for inspecting them like that. <laughs> That's weird. And what is this? I'm not sure what these are. It's for some sort of tool. Oh, so I can actually put them here, like this. Can I? No. Alright, let's give her this one, because that looks like that. Plant identified. Oh yay, so we got it correctly. Book entry. Collect. So we're in Undermere, if I understand. And we want to... Where's Back Barrow? Northeast of Back Barrow. Back Barrow. I want... To... There's White Barrow. There's Back Barrow. Northeast of Back Barrow. Let's look over there at those hills. The weather changes fast out in the hills, and what started as a grey morning has turned into a bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over a cloak of unwelcome shade. Let's see what plot we get. Ooh. Interesting. 
interesting. New plant bio. Right. Let us scratch the cat first. Scratchy. I am terrible at breaking codes. <laughs> so let's get letter. Oh, I love these animations. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at the bright flower, and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Let us... Um, ding -a ding ding Gilbert Ames. Something got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way round down through Backborough. So, before I continue playing this game, because I really want to keep playing this game, I'm going to say, firstly, the art, amazing. The music, <laughs> amazing. I'm stunned. I just saw that this game was coming out, and I thought I had to give it a check. But this is really good. It's mysterious. It's nice. You can pet the cats. You can ring the bell. It feels like you're running a shop. I, I give this an absolute 10 out of 10 for a demo. This is amazing for a demo. I've, I've never seen this from a demo. Just the de amount of detail and the map and everything, right? So, if you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, give me up to 100 subscribers, and then I will show you my dogs in the video so you can see them and enjoy how cute they are. All right, but for now, let's see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.